Dad'll be sore at me for coming along. It's a little late to worry about it now, Terry. You know, your dad'll be so happy to see he won't think about bawling you out until later. I guess you can take it. Sure. Say, Connie, be sure that our bags are laid out. We should be in wing pool in the hour. I hope. You'll get used to them down here. Here now, you have your orders now. Remember, all right, all right. Well, here we are at last, Terry. I'm disappointed. I wonder why Dad isn't here to meet us. Oh, you know him, he's probably busy. We can find the village all right, it's due north, and I'm used to traveling by compass. Come on, man, come on, give us a hand here. No, two, 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 carry, carry. Come on. Or what do you suppose it means? Whatever it means, we'll pay no attention to it. We're headed for Wing Pool. <laughs> hey, you come on back here! Hey, Pat. I wonder what that scream was. I don't know, Terry. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Well, I guess we'll have to be our own carriers. Huh, fine thing. The friend that shot us that warning evidently knew something. Better keep our eyes open, Terry. My first souvenir. Nice, friendly place. Looks like we're gonna have plenty of excitement. Yeah. Well, let's get at it. got some business inside. Oh, excuse me, I'm very sorry. Why don't you look where you're going? What do you mean, you bumped into me? Nothing of the kind, you bumped into me. You right, he bumped you.
Well, fine bunch of fellas you got around here. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Mr. Uh, Me, Big Stu. Oh, so you're the one responsible for the party. Gee, Willikers, it was swell. Say, so would you give my boy a hand in bringing in the bags? Me do. Come on, Terry. Oh. Oh. Come on, Terry, this is no time to be taking pictures. I wouldn't take a lot for that one. How do you do? Are you the proprietor around here? I wish I was, worse luck. Hey, Thompson, come on down here. Won't be long now, Terry. What do you want? Customers. Well, what do you want? Could you tell us where we could find Dr. Lee? You won't. He's already started for the jungle. When? This morning. Oh, there's something funny. I'm his assistant, Pat Ryan, and this is his son, Terry. Didn't he leave any kind of a message? Not with me, he didn't. Hey, Stanton, did Dr. Lee leave a letter for his son or Pat Ryan? No, not with me. See? Well, that isn't like Dad. He was expecting us. He wouldn't go without leaving some word. Who's your radio operator around here? <laughs> you were just looking at him. Thanks. Where will we find Dr. Lee? Operator, did you give Dr. Lee the radiogram I sent from the ship? Ship? What ship? I've received no radiogram for Dr. Lee. Well, that explains everything. That's why Dad wasn't there to meet us. I'll bet that guy just took your dough. Well, I don't understand it at all. Radiograms usually don't get lost. D do you know where my dad was heading for? How should I know about your dad, Sonny? I'm just the radio operator here. Well, Thompson will know something about it. Listen, my name's not Sonny. Terry Lee. All right, Terry Lee. Have it your own way. Look. Do you mind very much? No, no, I didn't see you. Which way did Dr. Lee go? I don't know. You don't leave any forwarding address when you go into that jungle. Oh, Pat. Look, could you get us some natives together and outfit us? I've got to find Dr. Lee. It's very important. I ain't got no natives and no means of getting any. Well, what about the natives in the village? Yeah, there's a lot of them hanging around doing nothing. Well, you couldn't hire them to go into that jungle. Why not? They're afraid, that's why. You, you outfitted my dad, didn't you? Yes, that was before, I mean, well, evidently, he got all the available men, that's why. There ain't no more. Willikers, Pat, what are we gonna do? We've just gotta get to Dad. Don't worry, Terry. We'll go to the governor and show him our credentials. He'll have to get his natives. Look, would it be asking too much of you to give us accommodations here? Sure, I guess I can fix that up all right. Well, that's something. Hey, Connie. Yes, sir. Well, where are the bags? You sure he didn't leave one outside? Oh, no, me sure. Well, take him up to the rooms. So the gentleman will show you where it is. Hey, huh. Leave it to Connie. I wonder if you could direct us to the governor's place. Sure, why not? Well, thanks very much. Hey, you, Hurdle, get busy now, will you? Yeah. That's the governor's house if you have to see him. Much obliged. Pat! <laughs> you fellas like to play a little more? Uh... <laughs> Come on, Terry, let's get to business. Okay. Pardon me, sir. We'd like to see the governor. I'm the governor. What do you want? We'd like to get some natives to organize an expedition into the jungle. I've got no natives. But we had permission from the Viceroy to get natives. That doesn't matter to me. Stay out of the jungle. That's an order. Oh, let me explain this. Dr. Lee is an eminent scientist. This is his son, Terry, and I'm Pat Ryan, his assistant. Now, our business is very important. I don't care who you are. I'm responsible for your lives while you're here, and I tell you that the jungle isn't safe. But then that's all the more reason for us to join my dad. He's already in the jungle. Well, that's his hard luck. You'll get no natives here or no help from me. Now, that's final. Now, please don't bother me anymore. Wong! What's the matter with you? Are you sleeping on your feet? Whew. Well, sir, thank you very much. We'll have to try someplace else. But we are going into the jungle. Turpo, get a message to Fang. Dr. Lee's son and Assistant Ryan have arrived. They're trying to form a safari to follow him into the jungle. Now get at it. Taka, Taka.
Pardon me, but my name's Harris. Did you have any luck with the governor? Yeah, lots of it. All bad. That's what I thought. You better see Drake. He deals in rubber. He's got plenty of natives. He lives just beyond the village. Thanks a lot for the tip. We'll pay him a call. You bet we will. Thanks a lot, sir. Well, do me a favor. Don't mention I told you. OK, we'll keep it under our hats. Well, Pat, we're waiting some progress. He's the first one that's acted the least bit friendly toward us. Master. Master Fang. It's the drums. It's a message. Dr. Lee's son and assistant have arrived at Wingpool. Are you sure? Yes, Master. Listen. And the fools. They're trying to organize an expedition to follow the doctor. Someone will suffer for this. My orders were clear. They were not to be allowed to land. I don't like this. My men have failed me. Gary, can I trust you? Yes, Master Fang. Very well. Dr. Lee's assistant has a very valuable portfolio with him. Go to Wing Po tonight and get it. Do anything, understand? But bring it back. Yes, Master Fang. I took Bombo. He get him. Very well. Go. Bombo! Nick and Nick up, Bombo! Bombo! Nick! So it's you. Drum this message to Stanton. Tell him I want all my men brought here for a meeting tonight. Yes, Frank. Now oh, go, go. It's about time I taught them a lesson. Sorry for intruding. I'm Pat Ryan, assistant to Dr. Lee, and this is his son. This is his son Terry Lee. Oh, how do you do? We came to see Mr. Drake. Looks like we'll need his assistance, Miss, uh... Drake. Normandy Drake. Oh, I'm sure Dad'll be glad to help you if he can. Won't you come in? Thanks very much. Hey, Pat! Look! Dad! Dad! We have visitors! This is Pat Ryan, Dr. Lee's assistant. Glad to know you, Mr. Ryan. And his son, Terry. How do you do, sir? <laughs> Quite a boy. We've met your father and like him very much. Everybody likes Dad. <laughs> Why, I... Oh, this is my daughter, Normandy. Oh, we've already met. We introduced ourselves. Yes, we're old friends. <laughs> we certainly are. Ryan believes you can help him. I'll be glad to. What's the trouble? Well, Dr. Lee failed to get a radiogram I sent him and went on to the jungle without us. I have some very important documents that I must get to him. Oh, that's no trouble. Dr. Lee could only go one way. But we'll need a safari to follow him. A man named Harris told me that you could supply us with natives. Oh. I'll make you on a list of good, reliable men. Swell. Well, thanks very much. How about some iced tea? Sure, anything wet. This climate gets me. You get used to it. Just make yourselves at home. Uh, It'll only take me a minute or two. Dal, bring the tea. I had it all prepared. Oh, boy. That'll be all, Dal. Here, let me help you. Just a note. Came through the window. Yes, I could see that. Mr. Drake, perhaps you can explain this. This is the second arrow I've met with. Oh. It's not important. 
Just a personal message. Dad, you can't fool me. You're worried. What is it? Maybe it's better that they know. It's a warning from Fang. You boys are not to enter the jungle. He demands that I refuse you aid. Fang, we'll never be safe while he's around. Fang? Who is this man? He's a half-caste who surrounded himself with a crowd of renegades. He has a stronghold on many of the natives and seeks to control them all. He's a source of great annoyance to anyone who has business here. Sort of a jungle politician. In a way, he pretty well runs things. Well, in that case, we better not put you on the spot. But we've got to get to Dad. That's right. And I'll do my best to supply you with the natives. It's a good time to show Fang that he can't intimidate me. I'm not afraid of him. Gee, that's swell, Mr. Drake. Well, I'll attend to it personally. You stay here, and I'll be back shortly with good news. Come on, Dad, do everything he promises. Gee, Pat, I'm all excited about tomorrow. What shall I pack? As little as possible. All I'm taking is your father's portfolio case. You know what direction we go? Well, Drake told me the general direction. A place called Temple of the Dawn. Gee, Williker, sounds exciting. <laughs> well, come on, kid, get some shut eyes. Oh, okay. Good night, Terry. Now go on, get some sleep. Right, Pat? Yeah, I'm all right. Sort of got the wind squeezed out of me. Gee, that, that thing scared the life out of me, Pat. <laughs> That's all right, kid. I was scared too, plenty. Now forget it. Let's get some sleep. Sleep? <laughs> Not me. I'll be lucky if I ever sleep again. Pat, I I'd feel a lot better in here with you. That thing may come back. No, he won't come back. They got what they were after. You know, that gorilla was a trick used by someone to get in here and steal your father's documents. <laughs> they didn't act like a trained gorilla to me. He meant business. I wonder what they wanted them for. They're of no use to anyone except a scientist. Well, that's what it's up to us to find out. That'll be sore as heck at us for losing them. Right you are, Terry. Hop into bed and get some rest. I'll sleep with one eye open. I have made it very plain. If there is another failure, someone will be punished. And now, Stanton, you will take enough men with you and attack the safari of Dr. Lee. They must not be permitted to reach the Temple of the Dawn. That's great. The men are getting anxious for a little action. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Just a minute, Mr. Fang. Yes, Tolman. You can count me out. I don't mind blood spilling in a fight. 
When Stanton hired me on for this job, nothing was said about murder. Murder? After all, Stan. Quiet! When I want your opinion, Governor, I'll ask for it. Until then, keep your mouth closed. No offense. And now, Tallman, exactly what do you mean? I mean, I'm through. I'm fed up. I'm getting out of this country. Tallman was right, didn't know it. He is through. Take him away. And now, my dear governor, perhaps you have something you would like to say? Me? Why, nothing at all. Whatever you say goes with me always. Has anybody else got anything to say? No, sir. Oh, well, I'm no, satisfied. No, not me. That is well. I want you all to wear your full disguises when you make the attack. So why can't we take our guns and smoke them off? These spears ain't my weapon. You will take orders, Hayes, not question them. I want you masked and costumed in order to strike terror into the hearts of these natives. It fits in with their silly superstitions. Now get at it, all of you. All right, let's get going. Now, Governor, don't go, please. I want a word with you in my study. But, Fang, I have business. I want a word with you in my study. Oh, all right. Who's up there in the rear? Well, it's a relief to get started. Dr. Lee, why do you think we received so much opposition? Oh, that's understandable. It's an out-of-way place. The natives are superstitious. They don't understand what we are trying to do. Well, I don't like it, Doctor. The natives are acting strangely. They just turned up the temple trail. All right, you know what to do. Doctor, what did I tell you? I knew they were up to something. But well, what can they gain? What's their purpose? up their safari. <laughs> How you doing, partner? I'm all right, but these dogs of mine are talking in 17 different <laughs> languages. You know what? This country needs is some good, solid sidewalks. What you need is a good night's sleep. Sleep? After last night, I don't think I'll ever sleep again. <laughs> Boy. I wish we hadn't camped here. We should have gone on after Dad. Oh, don't be impatient, Terry. We made swell progress today. What we'll do now is grab a little shut-eye and get up and get an early morning start. Well, we're all 
all set. Hey, Blackie, you know what you're supposed to do. Now get at it. Yes, sir. You two come with me. Boys, wait for my signal, then come rushing. Dr. Lee, or you will never see your son again. Lee defies Fang, tries to escape, but Fang's renegades rush in. In the jungle, Fang springs a fiery trap on Terry and Pat. They're hemmed in by the blazing jungle. Flaming trees crash in their path. Can they escape? See the Fang strikes. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates.
Get after him! after us. Oh, Pat, let's go on. But Terry, without supplies, it'd be suicide. But, but I'm worried about my dad. Well, so am I, but we can't go prong through the jungle in the middle of the night looking for him. It's nearly morning now. You said yourself he can't be far ahead. Maybe we'd overtake him during the day. Come on, Pat, let's take a chance. All right. But if we don't find him by nightfall, we head back and organize a safari, a real one that'll resist any attack. I, I don't understand what this is all about. What are they trying to do? Terry, I'm ashamed of you. Someone's trying to prevent us from joining your dad. That's plain. Well, they haven't got a chance. Have they, Pat? No, old boy. Not a chance. We'll show them a thing yet. Well, I guess we lost them. You should have let us brought our guns. Don't tell me my business. Hayes, you and the rest report to Fang. I'm heading back to town. I want to be there in case those guys get back. Right. Headquarters! Got up, Ah. Good day to you, Doctor, and welcome. Thank you. And now, perhaps you can tell me what this is all about. <laughs> it is very fortunate for you that my man was nearby to aid you. You had fallen into the hands of a very dangerous tribe. Yes, so it seems. A chair for the doctor. Thank you. You may go, Gory. So it's you I have to thank for my safety. Yes, luckily I heard you had started into the jungle. I knew you would get into difficulties, doctor, and I took steps to help you. Your man arrived just in time. That gorilla had been... Yes. May I ask what you are doing in this jungle alone? It is dangerous to anyone. I am Dr. Lee of the Technical Research Society. I'm searching for secret records of a lost civilization. All evidence leads me to believe they are in this vicinity. As I've heard of you, Dr. Lee, and your mission interests me. We have much in common. In a more modest way, I too am an archaeologist. Well, I am in luck. Perhaps we can assist each other. I've been hoping just that. I have something here which I'm sure will prove very interesting to you, Doctor. Well. I've had this for some time, but unfortunately, I have never been able to translate it. Perhaps you can. Ah, uh, yes, I believe I can. The voice of Mara. Uh, Mara is the stone god in the court of the Temple of the Dawn. The very spot I was heading for. Uh, yes, yes, that is the Dragon Lady's temple. Uh, read on, Doctor. The anger of Mara will be visited upon his people. War, pestilence, famine will humble them until the virtues of man are restored. Then will Mara speak and lead his people to the path of eternal glory. Wonderful, Doctor, wonderful. That tells me much. The very thing the natives have been waiting for. That is their legend, that someday Mara will talk. All will be easy now. I will make Mara talk. And what do you expect to gain by that? When I can make the god of the natives talk, I can control them through their superstitions. For what reason? In some secret place in the Temple of the Dawn are stored all the riches of a great civilization which prospered here thousands of years ago. It was to uncover the records of that civilization that I came here. But I am definitely not interested in treasure. Oh, nonsense, Doctor. We are all interested in obtaining great wealth. The Dragon Lady has the temple, and I am not able to decipher the scrawls and tablets which undoubtedly lead to the treasure. That is where you fit in. Me? Just what are you driving at? Join with me, Doctor, and we will share millions. Why, that's looting. I came here in the interest of science. I'll have no part of such a thing under any consideration. I think you will, Doctor. I have another 
the reason why you will stay here and help me. Where did you get that portfolio? That belongs to my assistant. Yeah, Pat Ryan by name. But now it belongs to me. How do I know all this? Pat. If any harm has come to those boys, I promise you'll answer to me. Oh, have no fear, Doctor. They are safe. Perfectly safe. I have them under a special guard of my own. They will be here shortly. Ah, you're just in time. Bring in the prisoners. I'm sorry, sir. The kid and the guard with him got away. Dr. Lee, unless you help me secure the temple treasure, you will never see your boy again. You can't bluff me. I heard what he said. My boy got away. Pat Ryan will take care of him. Lucky, have a message drawn to Stanton to prevent the two from reaching town. That is the only place they will head for. Go. You can't get away with this. I'll arouse the whole country. I'll tell the governor that you are... <laughs> Quiet. The governor, eh? Lock him up. Wait a minute. Fetting, I tell you that I'm... Jungle. Yeah, let's go back. Gee, Pat, this sure is exciting. I've got some nifty pictures. Oh, uh, that's swell. How do you like the heat? Oh, not bad. I don't mind it at all. Hey, Pat, look. Ah, oh, come on, Terry. You can't shoot. Those are going too fast. across this ridge, so hurry up and get the dynamite planted. Wait a Pat, those are my father's things. You're right, Terry. These are your father's things. Well, what does it mean? It means they've been attacked. Nothing we can do for these poor devils. These men were my father's assistants. You don't think they... Oh, not a chance. Your father's certainly not around here. That means he's been taken prisoner or escaped.
All right? Trouble's all right? Boy, it was a lucky thing that was only the tip of the tree. It's the fastest hundred yard dash I ever made. If there's ever responsible for this, it's not around here now. They must think we're killed. Come on, we gotta get back to Drake's. Well, this is a sur What happened? Plenty. Yeah. We've got to see your father at once. Well, yes, yes. Come on in. What happened? Plenty. Your men deserted us and we were attacked by a war party. Then we went on and found two of my father's assistants. They were killed, Mr. Drake. Murdered is the word. And your father? There wasn't any trace of dead. I wanted to go on, but... Pat thought... I thought we'd better get back here and find out the truth. What do you know about this, Drake? I know this much. This is Fang's work. I'm sure of it. Yes, I know. But what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do something. You can be sure of that. I'm riled up. Me too. Dad, this is terrible. Mr. Drake, what are you going to do? We'll go to the governor and force him to act. Two men dead and Dr. Lee. Fang has overstepped himself this time. The governor will have to do something. I'm going with you. Why, it's Drake. He's got Ryan and the kid with him. I thought you told me they were killed. I would bet my life they were. Fang will go wild about this. Did you move? Oh, it's too hot. Well, <laughs> how long have you been here? Governor, Dr. Lee's party has been ambushed in the jungle. Two of his men were killed, murdered. Too bad, too bad. What do you expect me to do about it? You know, I warned him not to go in the jungle. I told him it wasn't safe. You're the governor. You have power. It's up to you to wipe out this outlaw, Fang. He's responsible. You better get evidence of his guilt. I warn you. Now, where will we move here? See here. Governor or not, you can't ignore us this way. Hey, after all, he is the governor. Oh, so you want to make something out of it? Oh, no, no. I, I'm just a guest here. Well, I was hoping you did. I don't like your looks. Now, wait a minute, Ryan. Don't waste your time. I'll get rid of the Viceroy. He'll handle this. Let's go to the hotel. I promise you, sir, that your rule here is about an end. And time, too. Is the radio operator in? Well, if he is, I don't know about it. Drake, stay here with Thompson. I'll take care of this. Hey, Stanton, come here. Yeah? Give me a blank. I want to send a radiogram. I'm sorry, the radio is not working. What do you mean it's not working? Just what I said, it's not working. Hey, mister, let me have a look at it. Maybe I can fix it. It's my specialty. Thanks a lot, but I don't want it fixed. Oh, go on, give the kid a chance. It's very important that I get a message to Viceroy. Come on, Terry, fix it. Stay out of here. Can hey. you read that sign? Go on, give the kid a chance. Come on, Terry, see if you can fix it. You can get a message through to the Viceroy. Wing Fu calling the Viceroy. Wing Fu calling the Viceroy. Let out, Pat! Tubes to fix this one, Pat. Yeah, and we haven't got any. Oh. Joe, what's the idea of wrecking my place? Why don't you ask your man Stanton? He started it. Yeah, he started something he couldn't finish. Well, if he's to blame for this, I'll discharge him. Listen, Thompson, if you're on the square, you let us have your warehouse for a meeting tonight. I'll notify all the planters to come in. If we can't get any help from the government, we'll handle Fang in our own way. 
I'm for it, Mr. Drake. Anything you want. That's fine. Pat, we move all your stuff over to my house. That's your headquarters from now on. Well, thanks. But I'm sorry, though, if I offended in any way. Quite all right. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you, you can't leave me here with him. He's dead. Oh, I think he's all right. The message came in. Drake has called a meeting of the planters for tonight, at which time he intends to unite them against me. I'm going to discourage such rashness. You will all hasten to Wing Po and place yourselves under Stanton's orders. You want to make an example of the first planter who opens his mouth against me. up to us to do something. The truth it is. If he's right, man, he's right. And we've got to do something about it. With my own eyes, I have seen Fang deliberately kill a man, and so have many others. You know that as well as I do. Fang controls the governor, and many others we know nothing about. That's true. If we can remove his influence from amongst our number here in Wing Poo, we can bring him to trial and hang him. And that's a thing to do. In fact, I think he has some of his men amongst us here tonight. What? I can prove it. That's a pretty broad statement. All right, I'm not afraid. I'll name him. is somewhere in this warehouse. We're all equally guilty. I'm going to the governor. Well, gentlemen, I'll see that we get some action. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, Pat, look! Fang holds Normandy prisoner in his secret hideout. Terry, Pat, and Drake trail her there. They smash down the door, rush in, but are met by an overwhelming number of Fang's men. There is a battle. Terry rushes on to find Normandy. He hears her scream. What peril faces Terry when he goes into the unknown to rescue Normandy? See the Mountain of Death, next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates.
gentlemen. I'll see that we get some action. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, Pat, look! The Leopard Man! Come on, get back in there, Terry! That's the last of them. Where did that machine gun come from? Darned if I know. There it is again! Was that you out there, the machine gun? Oh, no machine gun. Devil cracker. Big stoop get him from nowhere. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that's all right. You know, the big fellow's a magician. Well, we owe him a vote of thanks. Mr. Drake! Mr. Drake! Dell, Dell, what is Drake. it? Miss Normandy gone. Gone? Gorilla take to jungle. Gorilla? True, master, me see. Well, I know what it means to be grabbed by that gorilla. Normandy! Pat, what are we going to do? Brace up, Drake. Your boy knows a trail will follow him. Come on, let's get going. Listen, man, the gorilla stole my daughter. Will you help me find her? Not me, Drake. Oh, you're a lot of cowards! No, oh. oh, why didn't you shoot? Now, which way did they go? That way, master. Are you sure? Yes, me see. Bumbo! Bumbo! A 
volcano. That's all smoky. I don't like the looks of it. They're headed right into it. How did you find your way here? Never mind that. I just saw Drake's daughter taken inside. I demand to see her. You're in no position to demand anything. Well, I'll see her. Stop! I'll give you a load of this. See you, Sam. I've got to find Drake's daughter. Need you, or I'd bump you off with a great deal of pleasure. But now I'm taking you back to Fang's headquarters. You two stay here and watch the girl. Come on. Wait a minute. Normandy's 
Look at you. Then we're on the right trail. Well, I hope so. Brace up, Drake. We'll find her. Look. Well, that's Normandy's compact. We're on the right trail, all right. Are you sure she's here? She couldn't be any place else. I'll bring somebody out. I heard it. Take Normandy outside. Oh, sure. wait, maybe my dad's here. No, no, Terry. Stanton's taking him to Fang's headquarters. Oh, gee. Oh, don't worry, kid. We'll give it the place a once over. Darling, you'll never have another experience like that. We'll get out of this country on the next boat. Oh, you're not going to sacrifice everything you work for here. I'll just see to it in the future that I'm never without a gun. I'm not afraid, Dad. Hey, you were a big help. Here, Normandy, take this. Do you think you and Normandy be safe alone? Yes, we're armed, but I we don't... We don't want to desert you, but my dad... Normandy says Dr. Lee was taken to Fang's headquarters. We must do our best to get him out of there. I understand, but that would be suicide. The way Fang's guarded, you wouldn't have a chance. There's but one source of help left, the Dragon Lady. Yes, Fang is her enemy. He's trying to undermine her influence in the jungle and capture her temple. If I were you, I'd see her. She's at a place called the Temple of the Dawn. Well, how do we find it? It's due northeast. You can't miss it. We're as good as there already. Come on, useless. Come on, useless. Hey, Pat. I wonder what that is. This doesn't lead any place. Well, it must. There's no other way. The mountains are like a precipice on both sides of this cave. Well, let's take a try at it. You fellas wait here. We'll yell if it goes through. The great god Mara, we bring you human sacrifice. May this girl's life appease thy anger so that you will drive our enemies from our door. Mara. He's 
gonna kill her. Dragon Lady accuses Terry and Pat of being vandals, orders them put to death. Native guards rush in to obey her. Terry and Pat fight desperately. They are escaping from the temple when the whole force of Dragon Lady's natives charge at them. These are only a few of the thrills you will see in The Dragon Queen Threatens, the next amazing chapter of Terry and the Pirates. They need help.
we got rid of them. We hope. Say, what about Connie and Big Stoop? Oh, they can take care of themselves. They know where we're going. We can pick them up after we get to the temple. Failure. I want the great god Mara. I will make it talk. That will bring all her natives under my control and I will take her temple. Dr. Lee will then locate the treasure. Supposing Lee won't talk? There are ways of making the most stubborn of men talk. Leave that to me. Hello. Hello, Bobo. Why do we have to take that thing? He had something in mind. But nothing interfere with you. Not a chance. When I start to tossing these pineapples, the dragon lady's people won't stop running for a week. Don't miss on this, Stanton. I won't miss. All right, boys, we're ready to go. Temple. What are you doing here? We're friends, understand? We've come a great distance to see the dragon lady. Yeah, we don't mean any harm. Well, I don't know who you are. I demand that you deliver these men to me. They will pass judgment on them. Take them to the temple. They take them to Dragon Lady in temple. Very good. That's what they come here for. To see Dragon Lady. Here's the okie doke. We wait here. Your high priest demands an audience. Admit him. Why did they come here? Because they defiled our sacred worshiping place and committed sacrilege. We asked their death. This man is not telling the truth, Your Highness. We committed no sacrilege. Look, if, even if we did, we didn't mean it. And that man there was... Quiet, Terry. Now, I can explain. We're friends. We've come here only to seek the help and advice of you. Turn them over to me for punishment. Silence. I will hear them. My high priest has demanded your lives. Is there any reason why his demand shouldn't be complied with? Uh, yes, there are a lot of reasons. All we did was to prevent the murder of a young girl. Oh, why, well, that fellow there tried to have her killed before our very eyes. Is this true? I was carrying out the will of our god, Mara, the practice of our forefathers. I have long ago forbidden these practices. You have disobeyed me. are all alone. We'll circle them. Artigo, as soon as I give you the signal, bring the ox cart down to the statue. All right, you know what to do and make no mistake. Get them. I will explain to the people that you intended no wrong. You have earned the gratitude of the Dragon Lady and her people. How can I help you? Oh, ask her about that. We're trying to locate Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee? I know him not. Oh, well, yes, I know that. Dr. Lee was on his way here to ask for your help when he was captured by Fang's men. Fang? 
Only the gods can help him now if Fang has captured him. Oh! Look, my dad's a swell guy, and we thought you could help us to rescue him. Fang has long been my enemy. Through my people, I shall find out exactly where Fang is holding your father. Oh, thanks. Gee, Willock, your Pat, and everything's going to be all right. Statue, everybody come out. We wait here. Come on, turn that wagon around. What are you and Dr. Lee doing in this country? We are members of the Technical Research Society, making excavations of ancient temples. What? You intend to defile our grounds, our temple? You see, I was right. Destroy them. No, you misunderstand us. We're only searching for her. Yeah, you, you got us wrong, honestly. Listen to them not. They're in search of wealth. They would destroy us. You are right. Vandals, thieves. You would steal that which I am defending with my very life. We're not interested in wealth. We're scientists. I was a fool to listen to them. Seize them. <laughs> Relax, we're not going to try to get away. Maybe we'd better try to get away. No, this is our only chance to locate your dad. Oh, oh well, that's different. We'll stay. Hey, Terry! That's the throne. Yeah, no other place to sit. to blame. No, not you. It was a trick of these foreign vandals. They must be destroyed. Now, wait a minute. Silence. Take them away. To the execution room.
Lee Kidd are crossing the river after us. I'll have to stop them. Get away now. I'll settle them. Come on. has been stolen. The high priest accuses Pat and Terry. Pang's men inflame the mob against them. They try to escape, but are trapped. Their backs to the wall, they fight desperately, beat back the natives, but at last are overpowered and dragged away to be put to death. Death. For danger, mystery, and thrills galore, see at the mercy of a mob. Next exciting chapter of Terry and the Pirate. <laughs> have stolen our god Mara, what shall we do? Journey south to Wingpu at once and give this message to the governor. The god Mara and the thieves who stole it must be delivered to me or I will destroy Wingpu and everyone in it. But what of your long-standing treaty with the villagers of Wingpu that no harm shall come to the settlement? Shall I break the word of the great dragon lady? You have your orders, do as you're told. Yes, your holiness. <laughs> You are the great governor. I am the high priest. It is urgent that we talk. All right, you're here, so start talking. I bring powerful bad news. Our great god, Mara, has been stolen. Oh, that is bad news. However, you don't suppose... I tell you, it was stolen. 
the god Mara and the two white thieves must be returned so that justice may be served. What? Two white thieves? I know what he's talking about. Those two suspicious characters looking for Dr. Lee. All right, all right, I'll look into it. And next time I'll hear more of this fine story. You must catch these thieves in three days if you want to save Wing Fu. Or the Dragon Lady will destroy you all. Now, the way I see it, if something was to happen to the village, why, you'd be the first person they'd blame. If you're the governor, you should do something. You know, you're right. I should go for the village tonight. Gee, Pat, must be some sort of a festival. Everybody sure looks happy tonight. Come on, let's have some fun. Men, your homes are in danger. The jungle people will attack unless we destroy the thieves who stole their god Mara. Are you with me? He sure knows how to ride them. Go downstairs. These two outsiders threaten the safety of your family and neighbors. Will you let that happen? Hey, he could cause a lot of trouble. Men, Thieves are already on their way here. And when they come, men, look. After them. Gosh, Terry, they're after us. Come on, let's go. Now all we have to do is wait till they're finished. I suppose we should go. Governor, the acts of this crowd are barbaric. You should do something. What? I'm sure those two men are all right, although now I'm sure you can see for yourself why they must be sent on home. One, go into town and find the police chief and tell him to find out who's responsible for these shenanigans and lock them up. Unhand those men. If they're guilty, they should stand trial. Get out of here. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Unhand me. Let me go. You have no right to do this. Unhand me, I tell you. You'll never get away with this. Why, when the American consulate finds out, they'll send representatives. Oh. Wait a minute. You can't go out there with a weapon. Someone will get shot. Better give me that. He's right, you know. Somebody will get hurt. Yeah. Over oh, peace sakes. Uh, the boys. We can't help them. Are they guilty? Then the law says you must die. Senor Stanton, it's no good. Somebody tip our police, now they go to jail. We still got those bucks of bombs. Miguel's right. It's worth a try. All I know is bombs better cinch it, because fire didn't. Hold it, Captain. You make mistake. These are our friends. Are you kidding? I've never seen these guys before in my life. Have you, Terry? No, uh, never before now. Come on, let's get started. Be here to help. I appreciate the sentiment, Connie, but frankly, you'd be more help if you're outside. All right, let's show them, or the whole village will be wiped out. These men are responsible for endangering your families and your homes. They must be punished, or Wing Fu will be destroyed. Listen, there's only one thing left to do, and that's burn down the jail. See? Hey, let's go. Ah! 
Gosh, Pat, looks like the whole town's outside. Start digging, right there. in place, Mr. Stanton. Okay, light it. Get that window open. Hurry. settles them. Now we can go finish our plans. You two stand guard out here. Remember, keep your guard up. You will stand guard first. Me do. I'm sure glad to see you're alive. I'm afraid I wasn't much help. Oh, you did more than enough. Thanks for everything. Sit down. Now, what happened? We were ambushed. Chased us all the way down to the river. And Pat and I swam... Just a minute. Down? That'll be all. He might be one of them. Now, go ahead. Anyway. Uh, hold it, Terry. You know, we explained to those people we were just scientists. Problem is, why were they trying to kill us? I think I know. A statue of some kind might have been stolen from the Dragon Lady's temple. They think you're responsible. Well, that's it, then. We were there when the real thieves made away with it. But we had nothing to do with the plan. However, the villagers now believe that you are the ones who are to blame. Maybe Fang's men stole it. I bet I know where it is. Same place he took Normandy. Let's just go to the temple and tell her that's where it is. You're right. It's worth a try. Whatever you want. I want to help you with everything. Is there any way I can? I don't know. That would be putting you and your daughter in grave danger. Would it be asking too much for a shower? Of course not. Make yourselves at home. Thanks. Come on, Terry. He said, keep up your guard. You no worry. I keep it with me. I worry. Take this away. Well, better get going. Better take my pistol. Smart. And a couple of rifles. I'll get them. Thanks for everything, Mr. Drake. Quite welcome, my boy. Thanks for the use of your camera. I hope to get it back in one piece. Watch out for Fang's men. That'll be swell. I'll be back in a minute. Goodbye, boys. You two be careful. Are you safe here? I'm sure we are. All right, then. Come on. Two white men looking for Fang's hideout. Seek location of Mara. Send message. Stop. What do you think you're doing? You're one of Fang's men. You'll get it when my father finds out about this. Message, huh? ah. ah. all right. Me go back to the house before Master Drake find out. Master Fang, Master Fang, message from Wing Pool say two white men gone. Know all about statue. Two men gone to Dragon Lady's temple. The fools? Stanton has failed. They must be stopped. Await my orders, now go. Dr. Lee, it seems our conversation has been cut short due to outside affairs. However, we shall talk again. Take him away. Go into the jungle. Find these men before they reach the Temple of the Dawn. Remember, they must be stopped at all costs. Yes, Master Fang. Mambo and I shall do your bidding. See that you do. Now hurry, hurry.
Where have you been? I was worried about you. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad, but I was suspicious of Dow, so I followed him. I heard drums. What was that? A message to Fang telling him all about our plans. It's been hours. They're far away, but we have to try and warn them. We have to do something. There's only one choice. I'll have to... Oh, oh, my shoulder. You're too weak to be of any help. I'll go myself. Normandy, Fang's men are dangerous. You could be killed. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right. You know I can take care of myself. See you at breakfast. I should see who it was. No, somebody might be following. We better get going. Mr. Fang threatens to torture Dr. Lee if he doesn't decipher the ancient scrolls revealing hidden treasures of the god Mara. Pat and Terry are captured and taken to Fang's hideout. Fang threatens to torture Terry and Pat if Dr. Lee doesn't cooperate when suddenly a fight breaks out that will decide their fate. These are just some of the spine-tingling thrills that await in The Scroll of Wealth, the next exciting chapter of Terry and the Pirates.
by the gorilla and they'll be killed. Gorilla? Gorilla trail very easy to follow. Yes, but we have to be careful that Fang's men don't capture us. We keep eyes peeled like eagle. Two eagles! Which way did they go? I think it was that way. interested in any hunt for buried treasure. We shall see, Doctor. I fancy the charms of the Iron Maiden will weaken your determination. Your threats don't frighten me, Fang. Nothing you could say or do would make me aid you destroy the peace of those people. We will return to my headquarters.
Maybe I wish you'd quit. No, we can't risk a shot. We might hit Pat or Terry. Come on, we'll follow them. Bring him inside and hurry. This is my trophy room. Not a bad collection, eh, Doctor? You're not fooling me, Fang. It looks more like a torture chamber to me. Oh, you're right, Dr. Lee. And uh, here is your Iron Maiden waiting for you. You uh, see, Dr. Lee, the Maiden has hidden charms. Charms which you will be unable to resist. You're bluffing, Fang. To imprison me in that thing would mean my certain death. And that's something you don't want yet. Now, why are you so sure? Because you hope to locate the hidden treasure through the ancient writing of Mara's people. And I'm the only man in this country that can read those writings. You're a very smart man, Doctor. Smarter than I had believed. I shall have to give this deeper thought. Take him away. Good idea you go and look around. I stay here, protect pretty lady. Me do. Now, you must be very uncomfortable, gentlemen. Release them. I'm sure they will not be foolish enough to try to escape. I'm very happy to learn that your father is here. If all goes well, you will soon be with him. Gee, Williker, can I go and see him now? Uh, no, not now. I'll keep them here. When I call, bring them both in. <laughs> Bombo! Put that beast away. Untie Dr. Lee and bring him in here at once. should do something. No, we wait for Stu. Much better. I have a surprise for you, Dr. Lee. I think now you will change your mind about aiding me. Another Iron Maiden? <laughs> uh, this is something you would gladly give your life for. Hayes, bring them in. All right, go on. Oh, separate them. And now, Dr. Lee, you will do my bidding or your son shall feel the embrace of the Iron Maiden. Why, you wouldn't dare. Don't let him pop you, Dad. I'm not scared of him. Which is it to be, Doctor? Do whatever you want to be, but play off that boy. Oh, no, Dad, no matter what he does to me. Take him to the Iron Maiden. Terry, Terry, you don't understand. I don't have to understand, Dad. I would give it this pirate if he killed me. Take him away. Now, Dr. Lee, I shall give you one more chance. Please, Frank, please. Oh, Dad, don't give in to him. Very well. We will give your boy to the Iron Maiden. Thank <laughs> you. 
summon all the men. Dr. Lee knows where the guard is hidden. We must get there at once and prevent any plan he may have to secure it. Go. The dragon lady has threatened to attack the town if the idol isn't returned to the Temple of the Dawn. We think Fang has it. He has. I know where it's hidden, but we will need the dragon lady's help to get it from Fang's men. Mr. Pat, see what I find in Fang's house. Holy smoke, hand grenades. Don't drop those things or we'll all go bye-bye in a hurry. See the dragon lady. Yes, we know the god Mara is. Follow back. Follow me. Your Highness, the white people bring news of the god Mara. At this then. What kind of fools are you to come back to certain death? Please listen to us. We came back here to aid you. Dr. Lee can explain. Very well, then speak, but quickly. Let us have help, and we'll restore the god Mara to the Temple of the Dawn. Fang hasn't well guarded, but we know the hiding place. Perhaps he speaks the truth. Fang has long sought to rule my kingdom. Rigo, gather a body of men to go with Dr. Lee and his party, and see that Mara is restored to the Temple of the Dawn. No way. Your Highness, we've all thought these white people have stolen our god. This may be a trick. Your men may go into a trap. Perhaps you are right. We must be careful. Dr. Lee, you will go along with the men. The others will remain here. Restore Mara, and they go free. If you don't, they die. No, I refuse. I won't go without the rest of them. No, I need to worry about us, Dr. Lee. You're bound to succeed. It's better this way, Dad. Just you and I'll go. No. He must go alone. It's all right, Doctor. Very well. Come here. If your story is true, you have nothing to fear. Take care of them. Follow me. We mustn't fail in this. We won't fail. All right, take your places. Are you sure you know where you're going? Very sure. I don't think. They shall pay for this treachery with their lives. Take them to the execution room. Silence! Because of 
few are innocent people have been slaughtered. We demand an eye for an eye. Peace and truth. Silence! The white girl will go first. Disguised as guards, Terry and Pat entered the temple. They dispose of the natives watching over Normandy, but the high priest and his executioners arrive before they can free her. Forced to escort her to the execution block, they make a sudden dash for liberty. The priests rush after them. The whole temple is aroused, and every exit closed to them. This is one of the many thrilling episodes in Angry Waters. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates.
Plus hand grenades. Civil bombs all gone. Well, you're a magician. Get some more. Never mind that. They're taking it back to the temple. Take care to the execution block. Stop! You fool! Keep her here. That will bring the others. We must capture them all. Take her in quickly. I have a plan to get her out. We'll have to wait until things quiet down a bit to give us a break. Let's get under cover. Has uh, Stanton arrived? Yeah, we've got Lee too. Have you had any difficulty with the job, Stanton? None at all, Fang. It's going to work. Come here, I've got something I want to show you. Mm. When I drilled into this thing, I found out it was just a shell. Ah, then that accounts for it being so light. I must see this. Marvelous. Marvelous. What do you think of that? The walls are solid gold. It is only a promise of the wealth that awaits us in the temple. I believe what you. There isn't an archaeologist in the world who would not gladly give his life to change places with you. This scroll is undoubtedly what you are searching for. The key to all the writings of the lost race. Decipher it for me, Doctor, and you will help us both. No. I've told you too many times that I won't be a partner in your schemes. I'm a scientist. You're a thief of pirate. Then as a scientist, Doctor, at least look at it. I may be wrong. Marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, that's wonderful. Where did you find this? Uh, no need to go into that, Doctor. The fact remains, I have it. Now, will you help me? This scroll is invaluable to science. But in your hands, it's deadly. Then you're a fills, Doctor? Yes! <laughs>
you are desolate and yet we do nothing. Let this white captain be executed. Then Mara gone. Anger may be softened and our people reassured. If I thought that was the wish of my people, I'd... Of course it is their wish. They're beginning to believe that you are aiding the white vandals. If you do not sacrifice this woman, you will be held accountable to them. Oh, very well. Do what you will with her. My people must have faith in me. Thank you, Your Highness. Again, that speaks too. Yeah, I might have known it. <laughs> well, don't stand there laughing. Get out of these things. We got work to do. Connie and Big Stoop will take you on the wing pool to your father. They can get you through safely. Oh, we can't leave you and Terry out here alone. Let me go with you. Oh, no. Girls handicap us men. Pat and I have got to get to my dad. I know you're right, but... Well, that's all there is to it. You'd better go on ahead. Connie and Stoop, get going. Well, and a fine dad. Well, here's the record. I hope you like it. Very well. I will listen. Arrange it. Give me a hand. Sure. Crunch. Fan me. This is the control. Very well. All right, here she goes. Beware, your doom is at hand. Your god Mara speaks to give you warning after centuries of silence. You are being misled by the dragon lady. Cast out this false leader and install one whom I have chosen. Fang is my choice as ruler. Obey him in all things. Well, that's it. That ought to get him. You'll have them in the palm of your hand. 
You have done well, Stantan. Thanks. Oh, those superstitious natives will sure fall for that gag. Uh -huh. We'll spoil that trick. As soon as they leave, we'll sneak inside and get the phonograph record they planted in the statue. Destroy it. Just like your father, stubborn and foolhardy. How much did you hear? All oh, that phonograph gag. You'll never get away with it. Not in a million years. We'll chip them off. Ah, uh, too bad. I had intended to use you to force your father to help me. But now, you know too much. Dispose of them. I'm going to enjoy this. Keep them covered. All right, get in there. All right, keep your beat. Prepare to leave, you will call with me. Yes, sir. Return to my headquarters for the scroll. Prepare to move Mara at once. Sorry. of Tigerman, the inflamed natives attacked them. They rushed to the temple with the dragon lady. They exposed the voice as a trick of fangs. Are trying to escape through a secret passage when Terry is thrown into a pool of alligators. These are only a few of the thrills in the Tomb of Peril. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirate. Uh, 
That takes care of those two fools. Now I must return to my headquarters for the scroll. Prepare to move Mara at once. Hurry. There's no time to be thinking of cameras. Terry must head straight for Fang's headquarters. I'm sure they've taken your dad there. Oh, that's right. Poor dad. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself. But all this excitement has made me forget about him. Gee, Welker, the place looks deserted. Maybe Fang's away. If he is, you can bet he's left plenty of guards. Come on, we'll find out. You don't know how I'm worried about you. It's been plenty tough, but we found you. Oh, don't believe a word he says, Dad. We've had some nifty fights. Oh, that beast. It's all right. He's chained. I've grown used to him by now. Never mind, Dad. We'll have you out of here in no time flat. Anything happen? No. Quiet as a couple of mice. 
We think Fang's away. Yes, and I know he is. He's gone to the Temple of the Dawn to return the God Mara. He claims he can make the God Mara talk. Sure he can, with a phonograph record. We heard him, didn't we, Pat? Yes, and we saw it, too. The phonograph's hidden in the base of the idol. Too bad we couldn't get to it. Yes, but you must get to the Dragon Lady at once and warn her. If Fang's plot succeeds, she may lose her life as well as her people. We've got to get you out of here first. Never mind about me. All the money in the world wouldn't tempt me to leave here right now. I don't understand. Fang found an old parchment in the god Mara that reveals the hiding place of all of the ancient records of the Dragon Lady's people. It's the end of my search. It means the saving of years of labor if I can get hold of it. I thought you said everything was quiet. There's a lot of jabbering there. Yeah. You must get to the dragon lady at once and warn her. Fang must not get possession of the temple. I got you, Dad. We'll start right now. Must be ahead of Fang. You're right, Pat. Here they come now. Fire when ready, Terry. And don't miss. Oh! Don't do that! I didn't do nothing. They're at it again. You'd better stop them this time. I'm going to follow right in behind them. Be careful. your children. You will have plenty of fighting to do before this day is over. Now hurry.
his hat and sang and his men are bringing the guard Marot back to us. That man? I do not trust him. But he's returning Marot to us or cast your doubts aside for the sake of the people. Natives are gathering. There must be no slip up, Stanton. Make sure you give plenty of time between each statement from the god. I can stop it and start it at will. I'll be ready when you are. Ah, the dragon lady. something that your dragon lady cannot do. I am going to make Mara talk. Oh. My people, hear me. Do not listen to him. The god Mara will not do Fang's bidding. Listen to your god. Listen. Oh. He's going to start the photograph. Oh, wait, he's too well guarded. Oh, Mara, great god of the Temple of the Dawn, I beg of you all, speak. Do not let him commit sacrilege. No, let him fail. We want Mara to speak. Speak, Mara. Speak, 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 Mara. Your god, Mara, speaks. To give you warning after centuries of silence. Mara speaks, Mara speaks, he speaks. You are being misled by the dragon lady, who is unfaithful to me. By war, famine, and death, I will show my anger if you do not drive this false leader from my temple. Cast out the dragon lady, this false leader, and install in her place one whom I have chosen. Fang is my choice. Obey him in all things. You have heard. Do you obey? We obey. We obey. We obey. I have a 
forbidden its use. Once we are safely across, we can drop the bridge so that no one can follow us. Be careful. One false step would mean certain death. Here goes. The dragon lady is guarded by the gorilla. Terry and Pat come to free her. The gorilla leaps to attack them, but the chain holds it back. Terry and Pat advance to the dragon lady's cell. While Pat breaks the lock, Terry engages the gorilla, but his keeper rushes in to unchain it. Terry dives for the keeper, throws him to the floor. The maddened gorilla strains at his chain. It breaks. This is only one of the thrills in Jungle Hurricane. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirate. as I told you it would. Wait. 
what all that? A phonograph record, a loud speaker, and the natives think they've heard a stone god speak. Where is the high priest? The boys are bringing him in. The rest of them are out looking for the dragon lady. It may not be necessary to bring Dr. Lee here. The uh, high priest may be induced to tell us what we wish to know. You heard the voice of Mara. I am now your ruler be obeyed in all things. What is your wish? Where is the treasure that is buried beneath the temple? So the treasure is all you are after. I know nothing of any treasure. Perhaps we can refresh your memory. They mean to torture him. No, you mustn't. I will give you one chance to talk. These tales of riches are but legends. The treasure does not exist. I believe you are lying, but we will soon find out. Speak now. Where is the treasure? No! No! Stop! I cannot let you torture anyone. If we turn the treasure over to you, will you leave my people in peace? Give me the treasure, and I promise you I will never bother you again. She's going to spill the beans. Fate has decreed that Fang shall win. Tell him what he wants to know. Take him to the secret passageway. If my queen commands, I will obey. You, have Gore bring the gorilla and guard the dragon lady. No slips this time. If we return safely and with the treasure, you shall be freed. Why do you stop? This is known as a portal of death. Gee, look. They're headed right for this room. They mustn't see us. But I warn you, if this be a trap, you shall be the first to die. So be it. I obey my queen. Stop that. You heard what I said? I understand, and I'll take care of it. that you are the enemies of Fang. They have captured the Dragon Lady, help her to escape so that she may win the loyalty of her people again and overcome the evil one. You can depend upon us. Sure thing.
escape. That's right, and young lady, after them. Well, we got away. I wouldn't be too sure. That gorilla's still on the loose, and mister, he's something. Is there any place you'll be safe from Fang until we can get help? Near the Lake of Silver, there's a hidden place where I go when I seek solitude. No one knows of it but me. Well, head for there at once. Gee Willicker, are we the busy ones? We couldn't find a trace of them. That rock country's tough. That is no excuse. You should be tough up. Where is Gory? He's in the jungle looking for the gorilla. With the dragon lady free, our position is precarious. She may be able to win back her people. Not if we keep their god talking. Exactly. They must make more records. But I haven't anything to work with here. I know it. Take three of the men and go to Wing Pool. Bring back all your equipment to make new records. Now go. All right, you heard him. Crunch, hey, Blackie, you come with me. And Stanton, be careful of yourselves. You might encounter Brian and Young Lee on the way to Wing Po. It would be too bad if anything happened to you, my best man. <laughs> Just let me get one more crack at those guys. Will you rest a moment, my friends? You are welcome. Oh, no, thanks very much. We must push on. Thank you for everything. It's quite all right. Wait! Why did you help me escape? You owe me no gratitude. I tried to have you killed. Don't forget, Fang is still holding my dad a prisoner. We'll help you against Fang now and beat him, too. And then we're hoping that you'll assist Dr. Lee in his scientific work later. I understand now that Dr. Lee searches for knowledge, not treasure. But unfortunately, Fang is in possession of the temple. I promise you we'll get the temple back for you. And in exactly the same way Fang took it. Fang played upon the belief of my people that someday Mara would speak. Sure. And we're going to use the same trick. Only this time, we'll make Mara say you're the rightful ruler. If your people believed it once, they're sure to fall for it again. It's a cinch. A cinch? What is that? <laughs> Excuse the slang. I mean, Pat and I will make Mara speak. <laughs> we'll need some equipment, but Mr. Fang's wing pool representatives will supply us with that. You better hurry. Our storms here are severe. If it gets too heavy, there's a little hut by the side of the trail. Head for it. Thanks very much. Big Stoop, let's get underway. Dad'll be worried. My ankle's all right. Oh, no. Big storm coming up. We better wait. But we should have been home last night. Pat and Terry will be there first. What do they think? Well, Stoops say this is main trail to town. They have to come by here. We stop them. No use like this, Lord. Let's head for the empty hut. Thank you. 
Robert Normandy's father put to death. Drake is trapped in the bathroom of his rubber plantation. Terry, Pat, and Normandy try to warn him, while Drake is thrown into a vat of liquid rubber to drown. Terry and Pat try to fight through Fang's men. Outnumbered, they are locked in a desperate struggle. Can they overcome the odds against them and save Normandy's father? See too many enemies. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirate. I thought you were both done for. Oh, we didn't have time to think. My poor camera sure takes a beating. Oh, oh. you and your camera. Well, what are we going to do? We can't go back up there. We go through Canyon. We fool Stanton and his gang. Well, they're all right. They got away. Wait a minute. I've got a better plan. We'll stop them. Come on. Hey, how do you like this one-way street? It's all right if we don't bump into any traffic coming this way. All right, boys, get ready to heave it over. Here they come. Let her go. Not a trace of them. All right, we'll hope for the best. Now let's get out of here. That was no accident. 
accident. Thanks, Ben! Hey, Thompson! This place runs itself. Oh, Stan. What are you doing here? I, I thought you were with Frank. I was, but he sent me back for equipment to make more records. Oh, then everything went all right. Why, sure. Ryan and the Lee kid tried to mess things up, but we overtook them and the Drake girl on the trail. They won't give us any more trouble. The Drake girl? Sure, you, you, you didn't. We did. Any objections? Oh, boy, that's bad. You ain't not got us all in the jam. You know, Drake is a powerful man with the government, and he causes all kinds of trouble. What do you mean? Well, Drake has been hounding the governor to get after Fang ever since his daughter disappeared. And when Drake finds out that his daughter... You give me a pain in the neck, Thompson. Always worrying. Well, this is something to worry about. Oh, now we got to get to the governor and have him prepare some sort of a story. All right, we'll get to the governor. Get busy. Oh, well, wait till I get me hat. Wait a minute. Be reasonable, Mr. Drake. I'm doing the best I can. To my knowledge, you haven't done a thing. I demand that you send your native police into the jungle and find my daughter. How do you do, gentlemen? I hope we're not intruding. It doesn't make any difference whether you are or not. I don't care who hears what I have to say. Governor, I'm warning you for the last time. Do something and do it quick, or there'll be a new governor. My daughter must be found. Hey, 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 you better cut that, Governor. You'll be needing a clear head to save your own skin. The Drake girl is dead. Dead? Why? How did it happen? It doesn't matter how it happened. What we've got to do is to, to stop Drake. Drake? What do you mean? Kill him too? Yes, if necessary. Why, you can't do that. He's a very influential man. They'll be missing him. What are you worried about? Nobody's going to kill Drake. He's going to have an accident on his rubber plantation. No one can be blamed for that. Now keep your mouth shut. Sorry, Terry. Daddy isn't here. You me? Go call my father. Your father's not here. He went to rubber shed. Rubber shed? What for? He get methods. Big leak filter tank. Oh, shucks. Well, go tell him to come here at once. Oh, oh never mind, Norman. We'll go and meet him. It'll save a lot of time. All right, never mind, Numi. Will you have Numi give the boys some food? They're famished. Numi, take good care of the boys, will you? Come on, let's go. We'll be back shortly. You, come with me. Hey, why are we going to all this trouble? Why don't we just give him a slug and get it over with? It has to be an accident, you rummy. He comes over here to fix something and falls in the rubber bed. No one can swim in liquid rubber. Oh, he's cut. Thank you. 
Dad. Yes. Here. See if they don't come back. I'm going to get drink. I wish they would come back. I forgot to get a picture of them. Well, Thompson certainly showed where he stood by taking part in that attack on you, Mr. Drake. It's no surprise to me. I've suspected him for a long time. Yeah, and now to save his own neck, he's got to get rid of a lot of us. We better watch our step. Don't worry, we'll watch it. The governor won't help. I'm going to the Viceroy. But you can't. The only boat's not due for two weeks. Uh, I know, my dear. But I have another plan, and I think it'll work. We'll try anything, won't we, Pat? Anything, as long as it promises action. What's your plan? Well, I suspected something like this when you disappeared before. So I sent over to Romero's plantation and borrowed his old power boat. It's loaded with provisions and plenty of extra gasoline. We can use that if necessary. Well, it looks like it's necessary right now. You can bet we're being watched. The best plan is to wait until night, and then we'll help you slip away. You got me into a fine position. Now, Drake knows definitely that I'm in with Fanny. I tell you, we saw that rock roll right on top of him. How could I guess they'd show up at Drake's? Quiet, quiet. Should you have to be shooting your mouth off for the whole world to hear it? Now, what do you want? Mr. Drake, he's gone to Viceroy. He got power boat hidden. He leaves tonight. Well, 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 where's the boat heading? Don't know. He didn't say, but he's going to wait until dark to slip away. Oh, that's a good boy. That's fine. Now go on back. Hurry up before you're missed. You heard him. I'm as good as ruined. You'll have to stop him. Please. He'll never get away with it. I'll see to that. I'll get the boys. Here you are, Dad. I don't need those things, darling. I'm traveling light. Say, Pat, I wonder what's keeping Connie and Big Stu. Oh, don't worry. They'll be back soon. Mr. Drake, I... What's that? Whoever it is, they're coming closer. It's the natives. And I don't like the sound of it. I'm afraid they're on another rampage. I'll go. Never mind, Normandy. You better let me answer that. I wonder who it is. Oh, don't worry. It couldn't be anybody but Big Stu and Connie. Harris. You're having a second to lose. Stand and start in a native uprising to wipe you out. They're on the way here now. They're crazy, Drake. They'll kill every last one of you. Thanks, Harris, for the warning. I'll get them all out of here. Well, you better hurry. It looks like we're in for it. Harris tells me the natives are on the way to attack the house. Oh! Pat, grab that window. Terry, you get some rifles, and honey, turn out the lights. <laughs> Thanks again, old man. But you better go. There's no need of sacrificing yourself on our account. Well, good luck. It's too late. We can't do him any good. We've got to think of ourselves. Quick! Now without you, Pat! Go! 
Never mind me. Get to the Viceroy. Take Normandy with you. No, no, Dad. It's best, my dear. Connie and Stoop, you take care of Mr. Drake. We've got to make for the boat. Don't worry, old man. We'll do the best we can. Drake, huh? We'll take him to the river and dump him in. We don't want anybody to find him. Thompson's trading post. They send a call for help to the Viceroy. The Viceroy states and answers. Before Terry can speak, Fang's men break into the radio room. Three of them attack Pat while the fourth goes for Terry. Pat is beaten to the floor. He tries to rise. Then Stanton brings up his gun to fire. For desperate adventure, thrills, and danger, see Walls of Doom, next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates. Oh, 
away. We step on the side quietly, may get away from it. Let's swim for it. That finished them. Now we'll get back and report. Come on. Hopes of getting to the Viceroy. I have an idea. If I can get back to the radio room at Thompson's Hotel, maybe I can repair the radio and we can get outside that way. It's worth a try, Terry. I've got to get back to my father. He's badly hurt. Yes, that's right. We'll take you there first. Your father's safe in my shack. I take you there now. Wait, we both take her there. Me number one man, right? Swell, that's a way out. Be careful, Normandy. We'll be all right, too. It's difficult to translate, but I can read some of it. Yeah, well, we'll read it, Doctor. Read it. When the moon god's face lights the east temple wall, follow the shadow across the courtyard to the hidden stone door. The way to the treasure. Uh, what does it say of the treasure? Uh, nothing as yet. Uh, I have much to decipher. Well, hurry, man, hurry, read it. Where's Fang? He's talking again. That's the Fang. I'll be back in a moment, Doctor. Keep working on it. Bravo! Bravo! Not Bravo! Yes, good news, Fang. Got an important message from Wing Poo. Stanton and the boys destroyed the entire party. Drake, his daughter, and Ryan and the kid. All wiped out. Oh! Are you certain the message mentioned young Lee? Sure, he was with them. They're all blown up in the river. Stanton carried out your orders. Oh, I heard you lying, murderer. You promised me my boy was safe. Now, uh, he is safe, Doctor. What you heard? It's what? useless to lie, Fang. I heard the entire party was wiped out and by your orders. Ah, uh, you're mistaken, Doctor. The truth is there was a native uprising at Wing Pool and Drake's place was attacked. Your son and Ryan were there, but they escaped, I give you my word. Now let us get back to the scroll. Never. I'll finish with you here and now. for these people being killed. Now, you get a report ready for the vice war that'll put us in the clear. Why, that's putting me on the spot. I won't do it, Stanton. You'll do what Fang says. You'll write a report and that'll beat anybody else to the punch. Tell them there was a native uprising. The Drake's Ryan and young Lee was chased to the river and killed. You've got order restored. Everything's quiet. Understand? Yes, but what about those two Chinese servants of Ryan? Yeah, I'd forgotten about them. They dropped out of sight. Probably lying low, but I think I know where to find them. The big fella's got a shack close by. We'll go there and watch him. Now get busy on that report. Else Fang takes action. Okay. All right, boys, you can go. We're all right now. We go outside and watch. Close the door. Down. Hey! 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 Hey!
It's Dang's men. Get out the window, quick. Oh, but what about you, Dad? They think I'm dead. And won't look for me. But I'll hide if it'll satisfy you. See who's inside. Hey, move it! Look at this, sir! That's right! Oh, you're crazy. I tell you, I saw her go out of the window. Out of this window here. And she went that way. There she is. That means that Ryan and Lee are alive. Not yet, you fool. She'll lead us to him. I'll get the boys. Like it, you have your gun. Take these two to the warehouse and tie them up. Well, you're not going to leave me there alone. Well, that gun will handle line up. You two come with me. All right, you get up. Just a couple of minutes more and we're ready to call out. Oh, Terry, that's great. It's a cinch. They're in your place. Well, let's get the girl before she gets in. I wouldn't do that. Message from Master Hang. Dr. Lee has escaped. Good, good, Jack got away. Shut up. If Lee's loose, maybe Fang will want these two for bait. Take him to that warehouse and tie him up with the others. I'll report to Fang. Come on, sir, Paul. Come along, get some of us. Let me go. It's all a fine looking lot. All dressed up like a bunch of chickens. <laughs> you know what I'm wondering about is what they're going to do to you. Put your hand behind you. 
You show me tricks, will you? Now listen all of you. I've got six tricks in here, and if you start anything, I'll show you every one of them. Now you turn around. Stu, turn around, he'll kill you. Tie you to where you won't get out of it. Boy, Terry. Terry, I can untie Normandy. Nice going, big stoop. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna get out of here fast. Connie and Stoop tie up so he can't get away. We do. You know, I could get a swell picture of him if the light in here was better. Not now, Terry. Well, it looks like there's no chance of getting word to the Viceroy now. Well, then the thing to do is to get to the jungle and find Dad. If I know your dad, the first thing he would do is to locate the Dragon Lady, believing us to be with her. At the Temple of the Dawn? No, at the Ruined Temple. We could start from there. You mean Fang's hideout? Why not? That's the last place in the world he'd think of looking for us. Stanton put a loudspeaker and a record in the God Mara there. Maybe we could get enough material together and make a record for the Dragon Lady. What can I do? Look. You can go with us, and as soon as we check by Fang's hideout, we can take you to the Dragon Ladies for safety. Your dad's all right. Oh, I, I hate to be such a bother. Oh, you're no bother. Pat likes you around. The him tag tag. What do you say, Normandy? Well, if you think it's best, I'll go. Good. Oh, swell. Come on, let's get out of here. What did it say? Fang say if we near hide out, to go there and wait for Stanton. He come with important orders. Ryan and others in jungle. On your feet. Tell them started. We're near there. Well, I think I got enough. Oh, let's get going. Well, oh, wait a minute. Maybe with this amplifier, I can rig up a remote control speaker. Good. Maybe we can use it. as Fang's men remove the talking record from the god Mara. Fang discovers the trick. Terry is cornered, but Pat draws the Tigerman away. He joins Pat at the ammunition hut. They drive back the Tigerman with grenades. Fang grabs a rifle, fires. Bullets rip through the walls, tear into a powder keg. Terry and Pat are trapped as a great explosion destroys the hut. See, no escape. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirate.
Dragon Lady's high priest, and like you, an enemies of Fang. Yes, I recognize you. Where is the Dragon Lady? I will take you to her. Your son and his friend has helped her to a secret place of safety. Good. What are we supposed to do? Wait here and starve to death? We were ordered to watch the Dragon Lady's villa and watch it we will. Keep both eyes open. Stu, bring that inside the house. Everything's gonna be okie dokie. We've got all the equipment we need. Stu, you go out and watch with Connie. Me do. Keep eyes open like you. Some of my most trusted followers have been here. They report unrest among the people caused by the disappointment that the god Mara has not spoken again. Terry, put that gun down. You might get hurt. If the god Mara should speak again... Pat! Thanks, pirates! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Tie these fellows up. Okay. Terry! Dad! Your Highness! Terry, Terry, take the folks on upstairs. Oh, Pat, let me stay. Terry, go on, take the folks upstairs. I'll take care of these guys. nothing without this scroll which he stole from the god Mara. Well, so you got him, huh? Number one boy do good work. <laughs> Connie, lock these boys up in the shed. Stoop, take this gun. If one of those boys makes a move, shoot and shoot to kill. Me do. Come on. You hear what he said. Come on. But what are your plans? We must act quickly. Your high priest is going to inflame the people to demand another speech from Mara. Well, it won't work. Stan will just put another phonograph record in the statue. Then we must lose no time. The god Mara must not be able to speak again for Fang. If the people demand to hear Mara's voice and Fang fails... Oh, I said that'll mean curtains for Fang. Certainly. We've got to get that record out of the statue. Well, I'm with you on that, partner. If we could go disguised as leopard men, we ought to be able to make it. Why, that's a cinch. You know those guys we captured? I'll get their outfits. Well, what's holding us up? Right. I shall go with you part of the way. I know a direct path. Good luck, Ken. Take good care of Terry. You can depend on it, Dr. Lee. Now, to get back to this scroll. You know this is one of the most valuable records that have been discovered in ages. Here you are, Pat. I picked you out one of the best ones. Boy, I can hardly wait to see what I'm going to look like in this. Connie, you be sure and keep a good watch. Yes, sir. This is very valuable. It's your property and should be in your care. Thank you, Doctor. One move, you'll be dead. Sit down. They're coming, Pat. They're coming up the trail. Get ready.
asleep? Who? Me? No, them. Look, see. They gone. What? Oh! Walker, you gotta beat those guys to Fang and tell them what happened. Right. Here's your reward. Good boy. Come on, can't we get out of here? No, we're gonna stick around. Prisoners all gone, escape. What? Dre and Lady Servant let them free. Oh. Then they'll beat Pat and Terry to the temple. They must be warned. Big Stoop and me do that. Travel fast, maybe catch up with leopard men on trail. Yes, you can make better speed than I can. Hurry, go. Well, I'm glad this is over with. Yeah, they're working us to death. Oh, stop your whining. Leave the phonograph equipment outside and take the ammunition in there. Put the grenades over there and the powder on that side. the others. Fang! Fang! Well? The Ryan and Lee are coming here disguised as Leopard Man to get the records out of the statue tomorrow. And the natives are demanding that the god Mara speak at once. A very clever plan, but not clever enough. I shall see Stanton. Ryan and Young Lee are on their way here, disguised as Leopard Men. They may be here now. Hey, you two, step forward. Go and stand guard over the statue of Mara. Let no one come near it. Uh, Blackie. Yes, sir. Go to the temple. Tell Gore to take the gorilla and help guard Mara. It is the record those fellows are after. Yes, sir. What a freak, Pat. They sent us to guard the statue. Yes, get in there quick and get that photograph record out. Hurry it up, Terry. Hurry it up. We will trap Brian and Lee. Check up on everyone. All right, men, take off those headpieces. Uh, where are Morgan and Hayes? You sent them to guard the statue. Oh, yes, so I did. I had forgotten. Look! Morgan and Hayes! Now, what happened to you? Ryan and Lee slugged us on the trail. Then it must have been them that we sent to the statue! Terry, they're after it. Stay in there, I'll be kind of away.
ammunition. That is what I intended, though. There's plenty more ammunition at my headquarters. This should be the end of our young friends. Commander Fang powerless, Terry and Pat go to Fang's hideout to destroy his ammunition. They overpower a guard, locate the ammunition, set and light a fuse. They're making their escape when Fang's men enter. They fight desperately but are driven back, struck to the floor. Crunch brings up his gun to finish them. This is only one of the many thrills in the fatal mistake. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates. Ammunition. That is what I intended, though. There's plenty more ammunition at my headquarters. This should be the end of our young friends. Circled around them. They'll never think of finding us here. Those roughnecks. Oh, gee, they thought we were killed. Now you tipped them off. Fang had that ammunition brought here to use on the Dragon Lady's people in case of a revolt. They deliberately blew up the hut trying to get us. That means they have more somewhere else. If we could only destroy the rest of it. Maybe it's at Fang's headquarters. We wouldn't be taking much of a chance. Most of his men are here. We'll do it. I've got to locate the direction first. 
cop has never meant much to me. Southwest. Yes. Well, they got away again. Impossible. The hut was entirely destroyed. They got out before it went up. We saw them and lost them in the jungle. They destroyed the record out of the statue, but we got pieces out of the wreckage. Did you bring the equipment to make more records? Yeah, but Ryan and young Lee found more equipment in the hideaway. If they're smart enough, they might be able to make some records of their own. Mm. I see their game. They are inciting the natives to demand that the god Mara speak before we can make another record. This is what we will do. Brunch. You take your men and go to that hideaway of the Dragon Lady. That place Walker told about. Bring the Dragon Lady and Dr. Lee here. We will hold them as hostage to keep her people in check. Yes, sir. Come on, boys. Hey, this place is too quiet for me. It looks like a trap. I'll soon find out. Hey, don't throw that grenade. Anybody in there that had roused him? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna get a break at last. Be careful. I guess this place won't be of any more use to Fang. There's only one more place Fang would keep his ammunition and explosives. His hideaway. We'll go there quick. We might as well finish this job. We'll have that guy Fang on the run yet. We hear big boom. Plenty worried. We come to see. Maybe you need help. Well, why did you leave Dad and the Dragon Lady? Fang's men get away. Dragon Lady says to warn you. They think you need big stoop. You go back to the Dragon Lady's place and tell them we destroyed the phonograph record in the God Mara. And that we mean to finish up the job of destroying all the ammunition in Fang's hideout. You got that? I've got. What I forget, number two man remember. You stay there till we get back, understand? We're going on to Fang's hideout and we'll join you.
Yes, there's not only treasure beneath your temple, but records of the early history of your people that prove that they had a civilization equal to that of ancient Greece. We know of many secret places in the temple, but none such as you describe. When I have finished the translation, I will give you the key. Please believe me, I am not interested in any treasure. I believe you, Doctor. Dr. Lee's along with the dragon lady, the drake girl, and the high priest. It'll be a cinch to grab him. Make a hit with the boss, too. Yeah. It's worth a try. Just our luck. That big guy's worse than dynamite. We'll have to wait. Servants. Did you get to Pat and Terry in time to warn them? Oh, no. They got their verse and break phonograph record all to pieces. Good. Then they go to Fang's headquarters and blow it up. Bang! Are they all right? Sure. Now they go to Fang's hideout and blow it up, too. Bigger bang! That's great. If they can do that, then there's a chance we can attack Fang on even terms and regain your throne. Oh, it's too good to be true. The native unrest is spreading. You've got to work faster, Stanton. I'll have it ready. Yes, what is it? Down just arrived from headquarters. He says Ron and young Lee blew up the powder room and wrecked the place. Then all the ammunition you have left is at the hideaway. And I'll bet they're heading for it right now. We've got to beat them to it. You surprise me, Stanton. You have some brains after all. I was beginning to doubt it. Drum a message to Crunch. Tell him to get to the hideaway at once. Never mind the Queen. Terry Lee and Ryan are on their way there to destroy it. Yes. What do the drums say? That is all in his leopard men to go to his hideaway. He knows that Terry and Pat are going there to destroy it. Oh. I wish Fan would make up his mind. Tell Fan we're on our way to the hideout. Crunch answers. He's on his way to the hideout. Oh, if we can! And there's nothing we can do to save them. Yes, there is. I'll try to get there in time to warn them. Connie, stoop. Come with me. Dr. Lee, the scroll. I think both of you will be safe here. I'm sure all of Fang's men have heard the message and will head for the hideout. Oh, please. Don't think of us now. Your son is in danger. We'll be all right. Do what you can to save them. God, this well. Come on, boys. What a break. They're leaving the women alone with the old priest. We must hide this. Don't stop nothing or nobody will get hurt. We're going to take you back to Fang. My cloak. Her cloak. <laughs> take them out. I'll uh, search the place. Go on, get going. Got a guard there. Yeah. We'll two time him. It's worth a try.
Hey, Terry, bring me a spear. Oh, boy, I hope this works. Now for the fuse. Normandy and the high priest prisoners in the temple. Terry, Pat, and the dragon lady come to free them. They unlock the cells, but Fang is expected this move and is watching. Unaware that they are followed, Lee's party goes to an underground passage to locate the secret treasure room. They reach the hidden room. The secret of the temple is in their grasp. But can Terry and his friends escape Fang's trap? See the Pyre of Death. Next thrilling chapter of Terry and the Pirates.
getting rid of those guys. Well, let's get back to the temple. to keep you from ever obtaining the scroll or the treasure. Ah, then you have the scroll. That is all I wanted to know. Search them. Search them and see if they have an ancient scroll.
you doing here? Oh, what's happened, everyone? Where's Dad? They're at the temple. Fang captured all of us. There was a fight, and I escaped. Are you sure you weren't followed? I don't know. Terry, take a look out the window. Fang is sure to suspect that the scroll is here. We must get it away quickly. <laughs> of you endangering yourselves any longer to help me. But they've got Dad. Yes, yes, and Normandy, too. Oh, I forgot. I was only thinking of my own troubles. We must free them. You bet we will. And be Fang, too. Won't we, Pat? Yeah, well, at least we can try. Well, I sure gave Mara plenty to say, didn't I? Yes, and just in time, too. The natives have been demanding that the god Mara speak to them again. I got it, boss. Now, what do you think? Pat Ryan and the kid were with the dragon lady when we got there. We had a tough time getting that thing. Then they were not killed at the hideaway? No. Well, that doesn't matter now. Of course, you saw to it in person that this time they were... No, you see, I... Uh, you just said to get the scroll. Yes, and... yes, I understand. It would be too much to expect Joe to think for yourself. They will not be free long. What do you mean? They will be certain to make an attempt to rescue Dr. Lee and the others. We will make it easy for them. Here is my plan. Why, that's one of your men. Yes. Let us pray that he is still loyal. Vito. My queen. You wish to help? Hand me the keys to the cells. Here. Here, Terry, you take this. You get your dad, I'll take care of the others. Right. You better leave. They'll kill you for your loyalty to me. I never expected to see you again. I'll have you out of here in a jiffy, Dad. Now, Dad, the Dragon Lady and Pat figure that the only way to get rid of Fang is to get the treasure, if there is one, and take it to the Viceroy for safety. Dr. Lee, you are the only one who can read that scroll. What did it say of the treasure? The scroll mentions a hidden chamber in which the hand of Mara is enshrined. Then the legend must be true. Yes. When I was a child, the old priest spoke of the golden hand of Mara. It has been lost for centuries. But the belief is, whoever holds his hand will guide the destiny of Mara's people. It's possible that the lost treasure is also in this chamber. Well, let's find it and beat Fang to it. I think I know the way. Good. Good. No, no, wait. Those fools will lead us right to the treasure. is the one mentioned in the scroll. Well, this should be it. The cloven hoof, the key to the treasure room. Well, how do you work it, Dad? Just a moment. You turn the cloven hoof, and it releases a catch. Open it. This hour that the sun strikes here. Well, does the golden hand have anything to do with the treasure? Oh, yes, everything. The scroll said the golden hand of Mara points the way to the hidden treasure. 
Why, then it must be buried behind that wall. Yes. From that point, we dig through to the inner room. There we will find what we seek. Thank you. If one of you makes a move, my men will shoot you down. Please! No bloodshed. I care nothing for the treasure. Good old Terry. He doesn't matter. Let him go. Take these others away. Stanton, crunch. This golden hand is merely a sample of the wealth that lies beyond that wall. All that I promised you. Yes. Oh, Stanton, it will take hours to break through that wall. In the meantime, the natives must be pacified. We will place all of the prisoners on the sacrificial altar. Get the phonograph record ready. Crunch, get some tools to break through that wall. Yes. In the meantime, I will stand guard over the golden hand of Mara. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to put the record in the god Mara. Mm, good. Ah, a keg of powder. Marvelous. Where did you get it? It's the one I brought along to use on the natives when we first took over the temple. Mm. Have you found the Lee kid yet? No, but he is of no consequence. He can do nothing alone. Come. that our god Mara speak to us again. Yeah. 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 Look, my people, the golden hand of Mara. Yeah. Yeah. Token of his favor and proof that I am your chosen leader. Make her speak to us. Yeah. Very well. I will do as you wish. Oh, great God, Mara, your people beg of you to speak to them. Hear your God. Mara commands you to place your trust in Fang. Failure to do so will bring dire punishment upon you and yours. Mara has been betrayed by the Dragon Lady and the foreign enemies. They must be put to death. You have heard. Oh, Mara, we obey you. We shall offer in sacrifice the enemies of your people. Pursued by Fang's men, Terry and Pat reach the mic connected to the loudspeaker. Pat speaks, saying that his is the voice of Mara. The astounded natives believe that they hear the real voice of their god. At Pat's command, they turn on Fang's men. But Fang locates the boys, knocks Pat unconscious. For mystery, thrills, and danger, see The Secret of the Temple, the exciting and last chapter of Terry and the Pirates. <laughs>
have heard. Oh, Mara, we obey you. We shall offer in sacrifice the enemies of your people. All right, all right. will soon explode. Get back! We shall soon be rid of all of them. All of them. The way open to the treasure. Hey! Stay back! Stop that boy. Stop that boy! I will protect you. Death to Mara's enemies. They must be killed. Wait, wait, Pat, it's no use. They'll find us here. Hey, Dash, I have a loudspeaker rigged up in a tree. If we get to the mic, we can broadcast and stop them long enough for you to get to the temple. It's worth a try. We'll head for the temple. Good luck. Thanks. We'll need it. There they are! Let them all! Catch them before they get into the temple! Here you are, Pat. Now all you do is press the button and let her rip. I'll keep her fingers crossed. Your god, Mara, speaks. Do not be deceived by your enemy, Fang. This is the real voice of Mara. Mara speaks. Mara, Mara. Mara speaks most. What went wrong? That was Pat Ryan's voice. He's rigged up a loudspeaker. Yeah, well, they've fallen for it anyway. Mara does not talk from a stone image, but from the spirit world above. I am the voice of Mara. It looks like Terry's scheme is working. Well, once I'm thankful, my people are superstitious. What you heard from my image was not the voice of Mara, but a devil machine placed there by Fang. That ought to get him. Get rid of that phonograph and the statue or those natives will tear us to pieces. I'll circle around and find Ryan and silence him. Uncle. You have been tricked by Fang. The dragon lady is your rightful ruler. Look, my people, for proof of my words, the renegade Staffan is trying to remove the devil box. You heard? Morris right. <laughs> On the run, Pat. Keep going. Mara is pleased. See that none escape. Get Fang and his pirates. Our God is good to us. Our enemies are being driven away. I'm worried about Pat and Terry. Oh, they're all right. I never heard Pat's voice sound stronger. You're going like a house of fire, Pat. I'm believing it myself. The dragon lady is your rightful ruler. Obey her in all things, and happiness and bountiful tops will follow you. I'll get you more power. Once Fang and his renegades are destroyed, peace will reign at the Temple of the Dawn. Fang is your only enemy. Listen, my people. Listen for your real ruler. Listen. Let's go! 
cut your head off and it won't do you any good. I cut it off. Your Highness, the time has come for you to resume your place upon your throne. We must reassure our people. But wait, what about Pat and Terry? Well, Pat has quit broadcasting. They're undoubtedly on the way here. I must hit me with a house. He almost made me say uncle, too. But our plan worked, didn't it, Pat? Your plan, Terry. Good boy. Hey, we better get back to the temple. I'll bet your dad's plenty worried. Oh, dad's used to that. I bet he's glad I'm not twins. Most of our men are wiped out. We're through. Oh, we mustn't quit. Hurry to Wing Pu and force the governor to supply enough men to wipe out the temple guards and everyone there. It's the treasure we're after. That's right. Why not slip in and get it while the natives are running the boys down? Uh, do as I say. I will remain here until you return with more men. Don't try anything funny, Fang. I've worked too long on promises. Hurry, man. Get help. You can trust me. I will remain right here until you return. People have at last returned to their senses. Thanks to you, Dr. Lee. No, thanks to Pat and Terry. It was their idea. <laughs> We've got them all on the run. I owe you much, my friend. Oh, nothing, nothing. We're not through yet. Fang won't give up so easily. Be sure to try and get his men together. But what shall I do? I think it wise to recall your people and place a heavy guard until Fang is caught. He is right. Sound the drums to recall the people at once. We must make plans for defense. Oh, hey, how about Connie and Stu? They helped us. They ought to celebrate, too. Thanks, men. Locked them in the cell when they took us out. Well, uh, get them pronto. Oh, wait a minute, Terry. You can't lose me. I was afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> we wait a long time. Oh, thank glad to see you. Yes, I know you fellows are glad to see us and all. What's the matter, Terry? Didn't Fang leave Crunch to dig out the treasure? Right. That's the first place they'll head for. We'll beat them to it. Connie, you and Big Stoop go into the throne room and tell the dragon lady and Dr. Lee that we're going to go into the treasure room and guard it until the temple guards return. Now, you wait with them. Do you understand? Sure. We do. Come on. Gee, what a job. That's big enough. Hey, wait a minute. No, no, that. We're both going together. Look! What do you got? A diamond. A diamond? Yeah, it must be worth a million. It's the biggest diamond I ever saw. There must be more here. Come on, you showed us the fan. Yeah, but uh, come on, come on. Uh, I tell you, there must be more. They should have filled the pockets at least. Well, it can't get away. You showed us to the boss and he'll tear this place apart. Say, let me take another look at it, will you? Ain't she a beauty? I'll take that diamond. Now, wait a minute. I'll let you on something. Fang and his men have been defeated. Now, if you hand me over that stolen diamond, I'll let you go. All right, come on, come on, give it to me. No! Crosser. Yes, what is it? A drum message from Wing Pool. Boat arrived from Viceroy and Drake get aboard. The governor.
Thompson, everybody arrested. Soldiers on the way here. Guard this entrance. I'm going after the treasure. Let no one in. I'll give you your share of the treasure when I return. Yes, Master Fang. Bongo. You won't power the him anymore. Let's get going. Now, where's the diamond? I got it. Hey, we better take that diamond to the boss. Why should we? Yeah, why should we? He doesn't know we have it. That's what I've been thinking all along. It's word of fortune. Yeah. We'll keep it ourselves. Yeah! We beat it. With this, we never have a worry in the world. So you were going to rob me, were no, you? No, 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 no. It wasn't me, boss. Crunch tried to talk me into stealing it. I, I... I don't believe you. Ah! Master Fang said not let nobody go in there. Nobody but me. Bambo. Bambo. Uh, so this is the end, Ryan. Our last meeting. You'll never cross my path again. Don't boast too soon, Fang. You'll never leave this temple. Those natives are no longer under your thumb. I care nothing for the natives. The temple treasure is mine. Ours, you mean, Fang. Oh, is that then? Yes. Yes, of course. Hand over that stone, you double-crosser. Hey, you wrong me, Stanton. I intended to divide with you. I don't believe you, and I'm not taking any chances. So hand it over now. Now, troublemaker, I'll finish with you. Sorry, Pat, my aim wasn't as good as Fang's. You haven't had as much practice. Boy, it was plenty good enough. Wait, I release Bombo and we go with you. No, you'll remain here. No, I go with you. I brought my further treasure too. Uh, very well. Miss Gorey, you get part of treasure. I'll give you your share now. You stay here. All for this. Well, Fang won't trouble us anymore. The gorilla avenged his keeper. We better give the others the news. Fang and his renegades are destroyed. Oh, you didn't have to... No, we had nothing to do with it. Maybe Mara took a hand. This diamond is part of the treasure he was after. Oh. I cannot find words to express my gratitude. Dr. Lee, you shall have free access to all our records. Swell, Dad. Your Highness, your people are eager to make amends. They wish to see you. You must come with me, my friends. It is due to all of you that this happy time is possible. My people, evil has departed. Thanks to our good friends, our enemies are destroyed. Our God is ours again. I, your queen, promise you all is well. Go to your homes in peace. Why, where's Terry? Why, he was here just a moment ago. Oh, 
look, there he is. Terry, what's the matter with you? Ah, shucks, Pat. There ain't gonna be any more fun around here. There's no one left to fight. <laughs> <laughs>